Every country in the world is wrestling with its own housing problems, but probably none is comparable to Hong Kong, where housing has enduringly been a major concern to almost everybody over the past decades. The policy address 2013 reiterated an ambitious housing plan. However, Hong Kong is suffering from a series of constraints, such as labor shortages, time, safety and environment protection to deliver the housing plan. Public housing plays an important role in providing residences for the Hong Kong people. Hong Kong Housing Authority, HKHA, has been a sector leader pioneering the development and applications of information technology and systems, ITIS, throughout its construction and housing operations. HKHA has been working with its business partners on the application of BIM and ERP homes. BIM contributes a lot to enable better productivity for public housing construction in Hong Kong. We need more data for the Housing Authority to make advanced decision making based on BIM. And now we are facing two challenges in order to excel. One is data fragmentation and the other is discontinuity. We have a vision to bridge the gaps between BIM and homes. One notable action is to enable real-time visibility and traceability of prefabricated components to facilitate site management. In order to tackle these challenges, with the help from LSCM R&D Center, the RFID-enabled Building Information Modeling BIM, platform for prefabrication housing production in Hong Kong is carried out by Professor George Huang, Dr. Wilson Liu, Professor Thomas Ng, and Professor Jeffrey Shun from the University of Hong Kong and the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. The solution uses RFID for tracking precast components from prefabrication production and transportation logistics to delivery at the construction site and installation of the prefabrication components, where the tracking data is used for life cycle management of the project. The geospatial data collected is fed into the BIM system and information sharing is further enhanced by linking BIM with the Hong Kong Housing Authority's own Housing Construction Management Enterprise System, or HOMES, for more efficient and effective project management. Three innovative technologies were employed in the solution. First, a scheme for converting typical construction objects into smart construction objects using IoT and cloud technology was introduced, along with an innovative RFID-enabled gateway designed and developed for managing the SCOs. Secondly, an RFID-enabled BIM platform employing IoT and cloud techniques for designing the architecture and a suite of services and tools was developed. Finally, the 3D design and modeling in BIM was expanded to a multi-dimensional application by making full use of the collected real-time data. The project integrates RFID technology with BIM technology to innovate a platform. The platform includes seven technical components. The first deliverable is the decision support system for prefab manufacturing. The second deliverable is the decision support system for cross-border logistics. The third deliverable is the support system for construction site management. The traceability and visibility to data source services and the gateway technologies. These six technical deliverables form RFID-enabled BIM platform, which is the ultimate technology this project is going to deliver. Three patches are conducted in this project. One song is for the prefabrication construction, even for the logistics, and the terminal areas for the assembly. The pilot run for prefabrication production was conducted at the facility of One Ocean Enterprise Limited. 
the manufacturing for the public housing project at the terminal area. It includes four major subfaces, receiving order, preparation of production, manufacturing, and logistics preparation. After receiving an order from Gammon, the main contractor of the project, a staff member at WHS inputs the production plan into the web system. Through the web system, the order is transferred to the database where the data can be accessed using the smartphone application. Before carrying out the production works for the orders, workers open their smartphone application and select the Plan Production Date option to identify the components to be produced. After identifying the correct components, workers use readers which are connected to their smartphones via Bluetooth to scan the RFID tags to bind the tags to the precast components. The binding date and the GPS data is automatically recorded onto the database. After binding the unique RFID tags to the components, those tags serve as identification for the components. Depending on specific requirements of the components, Workers can open the concreting page on their smartphone application to record the production line and the concreting date. Workers scan the tags and then the corresponding components are shown on the smartphone application. Later, the workers click the button on the top of their screen to record the information. In addition, workers can open the quality checking page of their smartphone application and record information regarding the quality of the prefabricated components. Via a wireless network, information can be uploaded to the database where tag information is automatically linked to their corresponding components. Before loading prefabricated components on trailers for delivery, workers input the delivery information such as name, order number and delivery dockets onto the web system. In general practice, prefabricated components belonging to the same wing are delivered together. To ease the input of information, the web system provides a function called grouping by wings. Workers may use component information such as the floor number and flat as filters to find the components to be delivered and input the delivery information within a few minutes. Lastly, workers can open the delivery page in the smartphone application and use readers to scan the RFID tags of the components to be delivered so that loading time is collected by the smartphone application and transferred to the database for information storage. RFID Yingyun is one of the major transportation providers in this project, which provides the cross-border transportation service for precast components. The operations of PTS can be divided into two stages, transportation planning and transportation execution. In the transportation planning stage, the logistics managers upload the transportation orders to the PTS. Afterwards, the managers can monitor detailed information of every transportation order and modify these orders when necessary. The next phase, transportation scheduling, consists of three basic steps. Order evaluation, where logistics managers can prioritize the submitted release orders, loading dates and other parameters. Transportation planning, where logistics managers can decide whether these orders are delivered to construction sites directly or to the buffer warehouse and transportation task dispatching, where logistics managers execute transportation tasks based on the availability of the fleets and the task will be communicated to the corresponding drivers through the mobile application. In the transportation execution stage, the drivers first log in to their PTS mobile application using their specific usernames and passwords. Then enter the task management module where they can select the tasks released to them. They can also monitor their ongoing tasks and completed tasks in this module. After the tasks are received by the drivers, the transportation execution process begins. Firstly, drivers scan the trucks using the RFID tags to identify the right trucks for them. Then, according to the instructions displayed on their screens, the drivers can find the corresponding trailers with the correct prefabricated components. They should scan their trailers, RFID tags, to check for detailed task information of those trailers. Then drivers should click the Depart button to inform logistics managers of their status. 
After drivers pass through customs, they should click the Pass Custom button to inform logistics managers that they have successfully cleared customs checkpoints. Finally, after the drivers arrive at their destination, they should scan their trailers again. After receiving confirmation from their receivers, drivers should click the Finish button to inform logistics managers that their tasks have been successfully completed. Relevant stakeholders from WHS, Gammon and HA can monitor the statuses of transportation orders and transportation tasks through the web-based system of PTS in real time. We use this this public housing project, a uh, terminal area 54 site 2B, is a pilot project of this study. The site is located at Tunmen near Sukhong railway station. There are five residential buildings and one commercial center under construction now. The schedule of each residential block is based on a six-day cycle. The cycle is asymmetric for different wings to utilize the tower crane located in the center of the block. When the targeted components, facades in this project, are erected, a technician brings an RFID reader and an app on smartphone to confirm the erections. The data will be uploaded to system in real time. If there is any error, for example, misplacement detected by GPS, the system will alert as soon as possible. For example, if a facade is erected in a wrong place, a quick alert will save a lot from reworks and keep the quality of the structure. The technician opens the app, a mini-map and a list of components to confirm are on screen. He approaches one target and bow or sits on heels to put an RFID handheld reader on the facade's inner surface below the window. Probably with a few tries of positions, a beep sound from the reader means he has an RFID scanned. The scanned RFID will be sent to the web server. If it is validated, a mini picture about erected results and a few tips are listed on the mobile phone. He can confirm that the erection is correct by tapping a button or mark some comments to remind the engineers to review this component. There is also a rainy mode on the app, which does not require the mobile screen to be turned on. The technician can turn rainy mode on, lock the screen and put it in his pocket. He can go to the next target when hearing a beep sound, a RFID scan. The app will automatically validate and confirm the erection. In case there is difficulty to scan an RFID signal, the technician can confirm erection by taking a photo. The photo also contains a printed serial number and GPS location for the system use. This system can help us make the real-time business to know how the production of the production of and the production of the production. In the materials, the traditional way is to use a simple way to use the This project is a collaboration between two universities, the University of Hong Kong and the Hong Kong Polytechnic University. And four professors are involved. They are uh, Professor Thomas Ng, Civil Engineering, uh, Dr. Wesson Lu, Architecture Faculty, and Professor Jeffrey Sun from Hong Kong Polytechnic University and myself is the project coordinator. We developed a web system and a smartphone app to collect the product information such as product time, product line, quality check, loading time and other information. The information can be synchronized in a BIM-based platform and will be used in later stages such as transportation and site installation. In this ITF project, we try to put the information of the components in the RFID tag and integrate it with the beam model for track and trace purpose. The project manager can visualize the real-time construction process through the BIM model. We are very pleased to have the opportunity to work with several professors in the University of Hong Kong on this exciting project, which explores 
the use of a group of technologies to see how they can be integrated to improve the efficiency and effectiveness of prefabricated construction projects. And uh, they can also be integrated with the existing system they use. Thanks for the Innovation and Technology Fund and LSCM R&D Center and our project team. We are now able to track and trace the real-time construction progress through an N-dimensional BIM approach, which can reflect the real-time situations of prefabrication production, logistics, and on-site construction. I believe that with our concerted efforts on making our building industry greener, safer, and with better productivity, the future of Hong Kong's building industry will be one of the sparkling stars in the world. I'd like to thank all the project team members for the hard work and seamless collaboration.